first on four new police officers will hit the streets of Brownsville to uphold the law and protect the public. Yes, swearing in ceremony took place at the PD. It marked the milestone for eight men today. One of them goes from cadet to cop just months after marrying and having a new baby. Tonight, his spouse shares her hopes and fears for the new family, the new career. They are the newest defenders of Brownsville. Eight cadets turned to cops all of them now sworn to uphold the law. To the best of my ability. It's a proud moment for their families looking on. Audrey Villarreal is a new wife and new mom. Her husband, Mario Gomez, the newest member of the police force. I'm really proud of him, and I'm just, I'm just hoping God will take care of him for me, and I know he will. Mario's class spent five months training for this very day. The UTB graduate says he believes in the badge and the community service it represents. But unlike some of the other officers here, he enters the crime-fighting world with a 10-month-old who's also counting on him. I want to see him grow. Caleb is his world. His wife shares her fears. Just getting into confrontation with people and then being aggressive, that's probably just the most that worries me. This is her second swearing-in ceremony in four years. Her father also works at the PD. Officer Gomez has been taught how family takes care of family, and his is 245 members strong. Uh, I got their bags. I got his father's uh, back, and I mean, it's like a family we have. The Brownsville PD prides itself on a great safety record. There hasn't been an officer killed in the line of duty since 1945. Chief Orlando Rodriguez talks about how Audrey will play a big role in her husband's success. We've prepared him with everything we can to make him a good officer and be better prepared. But the risks are always going to be there. And we are hoping that she reminds him, never lets him forget what he learned. It's a daily reminder of the risk and reward. It's scary, but I know God will take care of him for me. With a life in law enforcement. Now, the eight new officers will be on patrol. The chief says the additional manpower will allow for more investigators to improve on the current caseload. I'll have the names of all the new officers under this story link at valleycentral.com. I posted some behind-the-scenes photos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to get access to stories before they hit the air. Just search Ryan Wolf. I'm online right now.